what do you guys think are some effective ways? Actually, maybe not even going straight to effective ways of persuading people to the side of reason. But why do you think that reason is superior to faith, is more, you know, it is by definition more rational? But why do you think reason is more important than faith? Well, I think it's all we have. And I don't think reason, I don't think that reason is preferable to faith. It's that if you want knowledge, reason is all there is. That, that's the, not the best option, it's the only option. And it's because, um, well, sometimes I hear people say, you know, you think reason and faith are at odds. Lots of people think this, but no, we can have them both. They're compatible. And in truth, if you're, you're trying to look for information, you're, they're not because reason is something that takes a lot of legwork. You have to look for evidence. You have to, make, you have to observe many particulars. You have to put it all together. And sometimes coming up with a good scientific theory takes hundreds of years. It takes it's longer than any one person's lifetime, such as a natural selection. Actually, people were talking about that since the Enlightenment. And you know, bit by bit, people put this together. That required lots of legwork. If faith is good enough, if just having faith in God gives you divine, the divine revelation, and you suddenly understand everything you need to know about how humans came to be, then that renders reason utterly super, superfluous. Why do you have to do all that legwork? Just read Genesis. <laughs> Boom. Boom. You know what happened. So if faith is good enough, then reason is, is needless. And yet, lots of people, including religious people, are interested in science. They're, they are interested in data. So when I hear the question of like, like reason versus faith, or you know, like are there, are, are there alternatives to reason, um, I picture almost, you know, like, like you've got a toolbox and there's different tools in the toolbox and there's like a wrench and there's a hammer and there's a screwdriver or whatever. And you're like, oh, what's the right tool for the job? And, and like, that's kind of the metaphor that I envision when I hear the, the question of like, well, you know, if you just kind of take out the word reason and, and faith and you put in like other words, like hammer and screwdriver or whatever, it's like, it makes it sound like, oh, you've got these options, right? And you want to pick the best option for the job or like maybe sometimes one is better than the other for certain things. And and that just doesn't seem like the right way to think about it to me at all. It's like it's like when you when you uh, drill into the definition or or like the concept, what the what is faith and what is reason? What are those things and what do they refer to? Then um, it, I think it's axiomatic, right? I think it's like it's kind of like saying like, uh, well, why is you know why is it true to say A is A? Because if I say A is not A, well then like uh, like I can say that too, right? And you can tell me it's contradictory, but like. I'll just say it's not contradictory because A is not A, right? So it's like it's like you have this fundamental um, choice at the very beginning. It's like, are you going to choose logic or are you not going to choose logic, right? It's so I just think it's axiomatic. Like I don't think that there is an argument in favor of reason. There's only an argument that reason is axiomatic. In the same way, there's not an argument for logic. There's just an argument that logic is axiomatic. And to people who don't choose it, then um, like you, know, you can't reason them into it, right?